What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be doing a bit of a random video. We're going to be doing a Jiu Jitsu Shenanigans Moves tier list. So, if any of you are new around here, remember to like and subscribe. Okay guys, so getting on to our first set of moves, we obviously have Megu Mies, as you guys can see here. So, the Vine Dog, probably one of the best abilities in the game if you don't spam it. Most Mega Me players, like, all they do is they pop this dog and they will just use it from you from, like, 10 light years away. But if they're good at this, if they're good at the game, it's generally one of the most annoying abilities in the game because it, it keeps you on the ground for so long. Okay, next up is Toad. Now, bro, like, Toad ain't a good ability, in my opinion. You barely get to use it like the whole fight. You can pop it after Nui, but most of the time people just block. And the reason why it's so bad, in my opinion, is because of the the giant, you know, purple thing that goes around your character when you're about to get hit. You're like, it literally takes up like half your screen. I don't know why they made it like that. It's just a bit silly. I think people say Megumi's too OP when he isn't really all that. I barely play him, but you know, he's he's not really that good to be honest. But Nue is pretty good. I'm gonna put it in decent because as an ability by itself it's really shit. But if you combine it with Rabbit Escape, it literally allows him not to be able to move. But sometimes Nue's like homing goes on a little bit weird. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't work properly. Okay. Fever Breaker. Fever Breaker is a really good move. It doesn't go through blocks, so I want to put it in decent, but it does tons of damage. Rough Energy, in my opinion, is probably the worst block breaker in the game because it takes so long, and most of the time you can't even use it as a block breaker. You sort of have to use it after Uppercut when they have no dash because it's one of the longest um, block breakers in the whole game, I, I believe at least, so you get cancelled quite a lot. Shutter Doors is... I have to say it's broken. I know it doesn't do any damage, really, but it's one of the best combo extenders in the whole game, and it can hit you from, like, the other end of the universe. It, like, homes on occasionally, and it does really good. Reserves Ball... Rever Re Reserve Ball, it's okay. Um, actually, yeah, it, it's probably decent. I wouldn't say it's, like, insanely OP, but it can be used to cancel many moves, so that's why it can be quite good. Margie Kick is straight up just broken, bro. I can't lie, this makes you play completely different. The fact that it can't be blocked is like the only move in the game that actually just, like, can never be escaped. If you're going against an Itadori player, they're going to hit you with a Margie Kick at some point. He completely counters Megumi with this singular move, and you have to play, like, with the IQ of a god when you're going against, like, if you're a Megami player going as an Itadori player, you have to think so well. You have to you can't use Nue, you can't use Toad, you can't use Dog, you can't use Rabbits, because it all just gets Margie kicked. And he also gets an invincibility frame as well. Black Flash, I mean Black Flash is a great ability. Listen, even with its um normal like Doe version fist variant, it's still pretty good. Crushing Blow is pretty good. You're gonna see a you know a recurring theme here. Um that a lot of Itadori's moves are insane. Curse Strike is probably, in my opinion, probably the best move in the game. I'm, I'm going to explain why. Firstly, probably the best combo extender in the game, apart from Shutter Doors. Secondly, it can go through block if you do the air variant, because for some reason Itadori's allowed about 50 different variants. Um, and it can also hit the, the hitbox on Curse Strikes, like normally is really OP as well, in, in my opinion. Okay, twofold kick. Twofold kick is really good because it finishes off a lot of people's combos and it can for some reason hit people on the floor. Um, which, you know, if you're going against a Gojo player, you're basically in the, a coma the whole time. The amount of times they hit you on the fucking floor. I mean, like, Lats Blue sends you on the floor and then you have the red that keeps you on the floor and then you have the twofold kick and then you have the barrage if they're good at the game. Rapid Punch is really good ability as well. Red is um I don't actually know what to put red to be honest I want to put it in broken but I wouldn't say it's actually that broken I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it here um that's blue is also really good I kind of want to put it in broken because it's like a better version of like toad in my opinion 
Okay, now getting onto Mahito's moveset, I want to put it all in broken because right now, this guy does so much damage, okay? First of all, Black Flash is really good because it's like one of the longest combo extenders in the game, so it can hit people from so far away. Also, Stockpile will shoot. Stockpile is really good as well. It can hit people on the floor, in the air, if you like look in the right direction. Soul Fire, now don't get me started on this ability, bro. This ability does 30% of your health, I believe. Which doesn't sound like much, but I believe that's actually more than Itadori Black Flash. And if you get hit by literally two of Mahito's moves, you actually get brand, brand down to 50. Plus a few punches, you get brand, brand down to like 65. So I hope you guys all enjoy this tier list. I like how Toad is in bad, you get me? But you know, I think it's, I think it's a pretty good tier list. Some people will probably want to change Mega Me around because I, I guess you can see why he's OP. But thank you guys all for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.